Hi, my name is Mark from the Micro Blog, and today we're going to talk about the Surface Pen tips and uh, some tricks with the Surface Pen, obviously. Uh, so before we start, um, many of you will have noticed that there's the Surface Pro 4 and the Surface Book, both have a pen. And um, what's new with the pen in the uh, version for the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 4 is that it has some extra functions uh, which you couldn't find on the old pen. So if you compare it on the slide with the one I'm holding right here, uh, you will first notice that it doesn't have uh, two buttons on the side anymore. It only has the right click button on the side and the eraser, which was the other button here on the side and the old pen, moved to the top uh, where it's now the um, eraser and also the magic button. Um, the magic button actually doesn't do any magic but what happens when you press it for a long time Cortana starts and you can talk with her and give her some commands, uh, set reminders and stuff like that which is useful in some cases. Um, so let's talk about the evolution of the Surface Pen. As you can see here there's the Surface Pro Pen, the Surface Pen and the Surface Pen. Um, the Surface Pen and the Surface Pen uh, both work on the Surface uh, Pro 3, on the Surface 3 and the Surface Pro 4. Um, the old pen only works for the Pro version 1 and 2. Um, another big difference is that the newer pens all have batteries. Um, the Surface Pen has two batteries. The new Surface Pen only has one battery, which is a lot better, trust me. And which is also what also is new is that the Surface Pen now comes with a tip kit. And the tip kit basically um, makes these little tips here in the uh, front of the pen uh, changeable. And you have four different pit, uh, four different tips um, in different um, hardnesses. So there is the very hard pen tip and the very soft pen tip and um, you can change to the tip which you like most. Um, I looked it up on the internet and what I found so far is that many people who do a lot of technical drawings prefer harder tips and when you're sketching like uh, doing some art stuff and that you prefer the much softer tip. Um, if you go for handwriting you probably are best served with the uh, regular pen tip which has the usual hardness of um, I think it's the HB one but I'll have to check it and I'll post it and down in the comments. Um, so that's the different tips and why this is uh, interesting and why the Surface Pen is the best thing about the Surface, uh, I'll show you in this quick demo. So here we are on the desktop of my Surface and I try to think about some use cases where the pen really is handy. And one thing for example is when you want to meet with a friend here in the city of Cologne near the Cologne Cathedral and you just want to uh, send them an email where to meet. You could probably use the new integrated handwriting mode into the Microsoft Edge browser and just uh, say okay this is the Cologne Cathedral, just, just say Col Cologne Cathedral on German this time and you want to talk about the meeting point. This is, uh, you can see this is the main station. Main station and when he comes out he all he has to do is he has to go here, here over the street and this will be the meeting point. The X marks the post spot. <laughs> meeting point. So um, all you have to do now is to press on the um, share button which is this one here on the top and now you can decide where you want to share it in OneNote for example, in mail. Uh, you can send an SMS which will be really cool when the Windows 10 mobile is there and just go with the email for this time. So choose an account and uh, send it to my friend Alexander. So let's put some text here, this is our meeting point, meeting point, so press send and off it is. Another cool thing for example is where you can use the pen is OneNote and OneNote, there I will do some other videos just about OneNote just for the moment, see it as your uh, digital notebook and another quick thing is when you press the OneNote button once or the button, the uh, pen tip, the magic button anywhere in the desktop, um, it automatically will open OneNote with a new page, uh, new page. And as you can see here, what I do is it's, uh, I can draw and I can write and uh, take some notes. 
And although this may not seem that spectacular at the moment, it really is when you get the hang to it. Because what you can do is you can uh, drag and drop your handwriting after you wrote it. This is really cool. Um, you can do a real lot of stuff with it. For example, here are some meeting notes. You can take photos, integrate them, uh, mark the photos um, like I did in this presentation here. Um, did a lot of screencasts. Who was a person talking? Here another screen clip. And yeah, this is basically what you can do with the pen. There are not a lot of other stuff where you can uh, use the pen really useful. For example, Photoshop. Um, you can annotate PDFs with drawboard and so on, so on. Um, the pen really is cool. I hope you get the idea right now what you can do with the pen and uh, what the different pen tips are for. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me and uh, write a comment. Thank you.